Hello everyone, this is Dawn with the Twice Your Cheap, and today we'd like to talk about how to use your handy dandy row counter. Um, here at the Twice Your Cheap, we ha you have what we call a number chain row counter, and this is a long chain of numbers that goes from 1 to 10, with 0 representing 10, and our row counters can count up to 100 rounds or rows. They are super useful and super easy to use. All you need is some needles and some yarn. So you use your row counter like any other stitch marker and it just goes on your needles in between your stitches like this. And as you're knitting along, once you come to your row counter, you just move it to the next number in the chain to designate that you have completed that round or that row. And you keep going each number down the chain until you get to the 10. Now you say, well Dawn, what if I need to count more than 10? There's only 10 numbers. That's when our handy dandy little melody clip comes in handy. If your row counter did not come with a melody clip, you can use a safety pin, a paper clip, any locking stitch marker, or anything else that will stay on here for you. So let's say we need to designate that we have now knit 12 rows instead of 10. We would take our melody clip and put it on the one loop and that will designate the tens place. So 10 and 2 is 12. Or if we need to designate that we have knit 32 rounds, we would put it on the three loop to designate 30 and 2. And there you go. So you can count over 10. You can count up to 100 rounds or rows. This, our row counters are also super helpful if you need to keep track of a more complicated pattern element. Say our pattern says that we need to knit four rows and then we need to decrease. And we need to do that five times. So we would put our row counter right before where our, where our decrease would be. And every time we come to it, we would move it to the next number in the chain. And then we come to it, we move it to the four. And we'd say, oh, well, it's time to decrease. So at this point, we would decrease here, and then we would take our little melody clip, and we would move it to the number one right here to designate that we have decreased one time. And now every time we would keep going one, two, three, four, and then we would move the melody clip to the next number in the chain until we have worked the appropriate number of decreases for our pattern. I hope this helps you get the most out of your row counter. I promise if you give it a try, it will become your new best friend.